it's Alex here from WPEagle.com. In this video, we're gonna be going through the Yoast SEO plugin. The first thing I'm gonna take you through is optimizing a page or a post, so making sure that all the keywords and things are in the right places. The second thing we're gonna be going through is submitting a sitemap, an XML sitemap to be specific, up to Google Webmaster Tools so that Google knows exactly what our site's about, how often we update it, and yeah, loads of other useful stuff which will help you get indexed. This is only the start of the SEO kind of process, and uh, the two points I'm gonna go through in this video are very important, but you'll probably wanna check out a few of my other videos which explain all the other aspects of SEO, things like content and uh, your reputation, and social media and all those kind of things and the impact that they have on your rankings on Google. So I'll put links to those videos in the description and yeah, be sure to check them out if you wanna learn more about SEO. Okay, I think that's enough intro. Uh, let's get on the computer and set up the SEO plugin, which is by Yoast and is my favorite SEO plugin for WordPress. Let's go. Okay, so I'm over at my test WordPress site and I'm logged in. So the first thing we need to do is install the Yoast SEO plugin. To do that, I'm gonna to go to the dashboard, then to plugins and add new. Then in the search box over here, I'm gonna type Yoast SEO. Click install now, and it's gonna download and install the plugin for me. Once that's done, we click activate, and we can start setting things up. Okay, so now the plugin's installed and activated, we can start to optimize our posts and pages. Now, if we go back to the front of the website, I've actually just added a post that we can optimize. We go into our blog area, I've added this post here, which is how to cook a perfect steak, which sounds like a great post to optimize. So if I go in and edit this post, you'll see that there's a couple of new options in the WordPress backend. We've got over here a little uh, dot, which is actually a light and the SEO check. Now that light is like a traffic light, green being the best and red meaning that you need to do some more work. And I'll explain what that means in a bit more detail as we go through. So for this post, I obviously want to rank for the keyword, how to cook a perfect steak. That's what this article is all about. So if we scroll down past the content, uh, we'll find the Yoast SEO box. Now this is where we're gonna do most of our optimization and it's also where it's uh, where it tells us how well we've optimized the post. So the snippet here shows us uh, what the ranking or the listing would look like on Google. The second box is where we're gonna type in the keyword that we wanna um, rank for. Now, just type that in there. Now you should get suggestions uh, that come up which are actually based on real Google searches, but for some reason on my site here, <laughs> that's not actually working. But take my word for it, when you do it, there'll be some suggestions that pop up. So if you're not quite sure um, the keyword that you wanna rank for, it'll give you some ideas. So how to cook a perfect state. Now, now we've added that focus keyword, it starts to give us a score in terms of how well um, the content is optimized around our keyword. So we can see that it's found it in the article heading because it's there. It's found it in the page title and it's found it in the URL, but it hasn't found it in the content or the meta description, so we need to fix those two areas. Now the SEO title is the main kind of title of the page, that's the first bit that's gonna appear on Google. Uh, it, by default it takes the post title, but we could change it if we want. Um, no. We could add tutorial. Make sure you don't have any typos. Obviously the keyword is still there, so we get a green score still on article heading. Now the meta description are these two lines of text that appear underneath the listings on Google. So um, what we can do is either take a bit of the content here, uh, if we want, or we can write our own. So I'll write, I'll write one now so we can say, um, how to cook a perfect steak in five easy steps by a leading chef. So we can see that that text is starting to appear there. Um, need to add a bit more. Let's put something like, never cook a bad steak again with this great technique. Something like that. But obviously it's entirely up to you. But obviously make sure that you include the keyword um, if you can. Okay, so the one thing that's still read is the content, which is obviously the text here within the uh, the article. So I'm just gonna go through now and just see where we could possibly insert the keyword. So here we've got how to cook the perfect steak. If we change that to A, that then gives us one uh, occurrence of the keyword. 
let's have a look if there's any other areas that we could um, add the keyword again. So we're looking where we can add a how to cook a perfect steak. So I don't think in there. Let's put it in here, how to cook a perfect steak. There we go, we've got it in there again. So that's twice, if we go down here, it hasn't updated because we need to save the post. So let's just click update and hopefully we'll get a green light. Here we have. So that means that the site, the post is pretty well optimized, but obviously you can take it further. And if you click here on page analysis, it will tell you um, where you could improve some things. So for example, the keyword density is only 0.43% because it's been found twice. So if we added it a few more times, that would improve. Advice on using stop words, um, in adding alt tags to the images. So we could do that by, for example, selecting this image here, clicking edit. And for the alt tag, we include the keyword. Like that, click update. Um, we could add a few more characters to the meta description, et cetera, et cetera. So you can just work through that, get your posts and pages as green as possible, and that's where you know that they've been optimized for Google. So I'll just click update to save that post. Now you need to really go through every post and page on your website and optimize each one for different keywords. Uh, and I'd recommend that you, know, you only focus kind of each post or page on one keyword or key phrase. Another important thing that you can do with the Yoast plugin, if you come down here to the SEO options, you'll find XML sitemaps. Now, if we click on this XML sitemap, we can see it, hopefully, hang on. Sometimes that happens. If that does happen, just click Save Changes if you get a page not found. And here's our XML sitemap. Now this is really useful because you can upload this to the Google Webmaster Console and it basically then tells Google about all your posts and pages, making it very easy for Google to find everything uh, without having to look too hard itself. So to submit this up to Google, you need to um, go to a website called Webmaster Console. If you just Google that, uh, Webmaster Console, you'll find it. It's the first one, it's called Google Webmasters. Or you can just go over to google.com slash webmasters. You click sign in, you will need a Google account, which I already have, and I've already got quite a few websites in here. You can then click add a property. You enter the URL, which I'll just copy and paste. So for this one, it's vanilla.wpeagle.com. Just gonna copy and paste that in there. Click continue. Now you need to verify once you've added your site, and Yoast, the Yoast plugin actually has an easy way of doing this. So if we go back to the website and go to um, the general uh, area, and click Webmaster Tools. What we need to do is enter something here where it says Google Search Console. So if we go back to Webmaster Tools, what we need to do is add a tag. So if we go to alter, Alternate Methods and click HTML tag, we need this bit of code here which is between the two speech marks after the word content. Now it can be tricky to copy because it wants you to copy the whole thing which it is, but that's fine. We'll copy the whole thing. <laughs> I'm just gonna delete all that stuff, just leaving that those letters and numbers. So I'm just gonna delete everything around it and then click Save Changes. That should be enough. So if we go back to the Search uh, Console, click Verify, we're done. Okay, so now we can upload that sitemap. So here, what well, after a little bit of time, you'll get some information about how well your site's being crawled, if there's any problems, um, how much traffic you're getting from Google, all sorts of exciting stuff. So uh, it's really good to set up. So if we click on uh, crawl over here and then click sitemaps, click this red button that says add. In here, you need to type in sitemap. I think it's sitemap index. It's basically here, sitemap underscore index dot XML. Click Submit Sitemap, and if you click Refresh, that should be there, and it's gonna take a few minutes now for Google to go off and download that sitemap and understand the structure of your website. Okay, that concludes this video for now. Uh, obviously, there's quite a bit more you can do with Yoast SEO, uh, should you sh so wish to take your website a bit further, but they are the basics you need to 
optimize all your posts and pages using the traffic light system and making sure that the keyword is inserted everywhere it should be. And you need to upload your XML sitemap to Google Webmaster Console. If you do those two things, they will definitely help your SEO. So that concludes this video. Thanks very much for watching. If you've got any questions or comments, please leave them below. And obviously subscribe to my channel for more videos on WordPress and internet marketing related things. If you like this video, please click the button as well. That really does help. And until next time, I'll see you later.